And a fire rips through a boarding home in the Frankfurt section of the city today just by the L train, displacing about a dozen people. It sent three others to Temple University Hospital. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo joins us now live from that scene. Matt, so how are those folks doing after escaping those flames? Well, Natasha, we're told that they may be suffering from a little bit of smoke inhalation, but they're expected to be okay. If you take a look behind me, you can see these are just some of the people displaced by that fire. There were about a dozen in total on the other side of the sidewalk that you can see they're kind of cleaning up the mess left behind. We're told the blaze started about 1030 this morning here in Frankfurt. It started in a vacant part of the, the building, then spread to the boarding house. Uh, we're also told that the front of the building suffered a lot of bit of damage. The top of the building suffered the most damage. If you look closely, it appears years of memories inside are now destroyed. Smoke billowed for much of the afternoon here on the 4200 block of Paul Street by the Ellen Frankfurt after a fire badly damaged this boarding house. It was out of control. It was, there's no way nobody can ever go back in there. We have a lot of buildings in the city that are pretty dangerous for our firefighters. Fire officials say part of the building collapsed inside. Now a joint arson task force is trying to find what caused the blaze. That doesn't mean that there's anything suspicious. It simply means that, you know, we all work together and it'll be hours, probably days, uh, potentially weeks before we know the cause of the fire. The fire displaced nearly a dozen people, including Derek Rolls. I could see through my floor when I looked upstairs, see the fire. He was inside the home when he suddenly saw flames in the ceiling and rushed his family outside. That's when he realized he forgot to take his dog Nyla. But firefighters quickly jumped into rescue mode, bravely went into the home and retrieved his dog. I thought it was over. I thought it was over. Smoke inhalation. I thought it was over. When they told me, like, oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's my baby. Yeah, so so happy to hear the dog was saved. But you know, this fire happened the weekend before Halloween. There's about four or five kids, it looks like, who were displaced from this fire. This is not how they expected to start this this holiday weekend. Meantime, also good news to report: no firefighters were injured battling that blaze. Live in Frankfurt, Matt Petrillo, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, Matt, thank you for that update. And now.